so today we're going to try a little bit of uh, fishing with a popping cork and some live shrimp. Hooking them through the tail like that, I'd say I got, I don't know, two and a half feet a liter. And all I'm going to do is walk out about as far as I possibly can, which is probably about here, because I know it slightly drops off up ahead. And all I'm going to do is just pitch that out and pop it back to me nice and slow. See if we can't get on some sea trout. I think something's messing with our shrimp. I just saw him jump. See that? Something's definitely chasing him. Yeah, see him keep coming up to the surface? Something's definitely underneath him. There's a fish. I'm not sure what we just caught. Might be a little red. <clears throat> yeah, a little red fish. All right. That's pretty cool. That guy is the true definition of a puppy drum. You could add that guy to an aquarium. All right, so that makes me happy because <clears throat> after yesterday's fiasco with all the catfish that we caught, <clears throat> it's nice to see that there's actually redfish around. Um, I'm assuming this method should keep working. If it doesn't, I'm going to switch over to bottom fishing. But the problem with the bottom fishing here, especially with uh, the amount of interference fish we saw yesterday, kind of has me reluctant to want to put this bait on the bottom. Keep going back to this well till it fails us I guess. Wow look how quick that was. Oh, something grabbed it and dropped it. Do you see that? That literally was under the water solid second or two. See if that fish will come back. There it is. Oh I pulled it out of its mouth. Yikes. Look they did a number to this guy. Let's try that again. Look at this monster of a shrimp. That's got hopefully big fish written all over it. Right now we're lucky. This is our plan B spot because uh, the wind today is whipping. It's like 30 miles per hour with gusts close to 40. You can't tell right here because the wind's at our back and there's a bridge behind me that's blocking most of the wind but if I were to go to the left where the bridge opens up it's like two foot waves just getting pushed in this little shallow bay but you know the saying when life hands you lemons you gotta make lemonade and even with this much wind down here I'm happy to report that we're able to find fish. There we go. What the heck did we just catch? It's small. Might be these million pinfish that are killing me. You know what, buddy? Today is not your lucky day. We're throwing you back on. I'm going to hook him. Through the nose. Actually, you know what? I'm going to throw him on a knocker rig, I think. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. Either I'm, my eyes are deceiving me, or I either saw a shark or a dolphin out this way. Huh.
Uh, dolphins. There they are. You never know this time of year. A lot of sharks will hold up in this backwater. Alright, let's cast this bad boy out there. Something just took it under. Something's on it. See it? Uh, the shrimp's on the surface. See, he's like kind of swimming. Look at that. That's wild. Whatever's chasing him. I'm going to let him. It's moving pretty quick, to be honest with you. Those shrimp are survivors, man. At least this guy's doing his best. That's a fish. Let's go. What did we catch? Aha, uh -huh. little trout. My lord, I don't know. That's like the fun size speckled trout. <laughs> Such a cool fish though. Hey, you know what? Win-win, we got our shrimp back too. Didn't sacrifice our shrimp for that monster of a speckled trout it sounds it seems like the five second pause in between oh something's right there i don't know what that is that sounded like lightning or thunder i mean but it does seem like the five second pause in between seems to be doing the best and it's kind of keeping the pinfish at bay See those little knocks on the float? Those are 100% pinfish. Right now, I think that's a pinfish messing with it. Could be wrong. Oh, that. I'll tell you what, man, the one thing I'm learning is it is extremely difficult fishing from land when you're used to a boat or a kayak um you know i was watching a guy out on a kayak like i don't know 50 yards past where i'm at whoa see that i'm not sure what that was but something was chasing something but uh you could be like 50 60 yards off those fish man it's just so tough from land i'd like to walk further out but i've seen so many stingrays today and i really don't want to step on a stingray especially with bare feet Something took it and dropped it. I wondered what that last fish just was. Something behind it. I don't know what it is. But I keep seeing like this nervous water. Ah, that's a pinfish. Gonna get that in before they steal it. Yeah, that was a pinfish. You can tell, see, they took a bite out of the bottom legs. Oop, something's right behind it. Oh, I ripped it out of its mouth. 
just hooked into something nice as the camera died. Oh yeah, another drum. Let's go. Hook right in the corner jaw. Another puppy drum. 